Okay, no, 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 I drove here just for you. I'm being real with you. No, so I'm going to tell you like this. So, if you roll with me like you say you did, which I believe you, where was the benefit of the doubt for the guy that you said was high character quality, all these different things, but at the first sign of something, you jump ship, you got him riled up, instead of trying to bring peace and being a peacemaker about the situation, and saying, hey, y'all, hold up. Look, maybe Ward meant this, maybe he meant that. Um, and, and really, I'm gonna be honest with you, you benefited from it. I didn't watch the videos you posted, but of course, I got people coming back to me telling me about them. And I did my homework. I'm like, barbershop conversations, okay, I think I had to talk to this dude before. Looked your face up, and I was like, okay, yeah, I have talked to that brother. It's interesting to me, why would he take, take, take an opportunity like that to benefit from it? And you may say, and you, and you may say, I'm gonna I'm 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 clarify. How am I benefiting? Because every video you post, you're profiting from it, right? Then I'm gonna go to another topic. You said us again, right? With all due respect, my brother, I don't follow your page, I don't subscribe to the page, but I see stuff pop up on my YouTube. Every time an African-American fighter, every time they, they have something going on, you post it. Explain, articulate. I'm articulating just fine. No, I don't know. Anytime it, it could be, it could it could be Javante versus Shakur on social media. You gonna post it? It could be, it could be something that wasn't even nothing between Andre Ward and Wilder. You post it. You looking like an opportunist to me. Now we, we, yeah. You look that because again, if you were doing your page for free out of the goodness of your heart and for the love of the sport, I wouldn't be able to say this. But if you, if you. If you were pro us, like you say, like you say, I didn't say that, you said that. If you're pro us, see right now you benefit from this. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're both No, hold 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 on. I'm I i do not I don't know what you are. Listen, listen, hold on real quick. Hold on. Hold on one second. Hold on. Let me let me talk. You're benefiting from it. Ask my man right here. I'm just listen, can I finish my point? Can I finish? I'm trying to go home. I live three and a half hours away from here, right? I stopped, I said, man, let me talk to him. He's trying to get me where I need to go. But I'm stopping, and you're going to benefit from this. Because guess what? You're going to post it. And can't control the headline that you use, can I? But you're going to do a nut. You're going to try to do, you're going to try to have a headline that is, that is, you know, thirsty enough that makes people want to click. Ward responds to me. I finally confront Ward about his wilder comments. If, if you're pro us, like you say, if you're pro, like eight mile and Eminem. Like, if, yeah. if if no no no, this is facts, bro. Continue, continue. And I've said this on my social. I don't talk a lot, but when I do, I want it to mean something. If you're so pro us and you're pro black fighters and uplifting black fighters, why do you post negative things about black fighters? Because if you were so pro us, if I saw two black fighters getting into it. I wouldn't post it. I would say, man, maybe I could holler at them brothers off to the side and say, man, y'all shouldn't be doing it. But every time, oh, so-and-so responds to this person. Yeah. So-and-so says this about this person. So it makes me scratch my head, my brother. And, and I've done that on, on camera, off camera. You've done what? What you suggested and what you've said. Articulate, you, my brother. <laughs> and you can ask you can ask Devin Haney's dad. You can ask Adrian. Oh, that Turner. was the latest thing I saw. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. But, but why is that necessary? Floyd Sr. is 60-some-odd years old. He's a veteran. He's a veteran fighter. He's a veteran trainer. Does that, does that really need to be put out there like that? So I pose the question to you, my brother. Was what you posted and what you riled up between me and Wilder, who, if you really know my character, come on, man, would I ever question another fighter's heart? I did not. You No, no, you drew that out of my comments instead of getting clarity. No, but it was a lot of people that got it too, though. Why would I question a man's heart? I know this game way more than you do. I, I, and I, and I, Listen, I, I lived it. Two decades. Don't meddle it. So what I was saying, and we could have got to this months ago, was I don't know if Wilder being a puncher wants to deal with a tricky, immobile, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is what I meant. A tricky, immovable target like who he just fought, Tyson Fury. Punchers, look, you think Wilder has seen a guy that can move like that at that size? He may not want to go through that. But you didn't like it because it's personal, my brother. You bring a race into it and you, and you went too far with it. Not for me, bro. Not for me. Not for me. But let me, but let me, but let me, but let me say, did you, you said same energy, right? 
I could be wrong, but you said something about me never speaking up for African American fighters. Okay, okay, okay. But I didn't see that same energy when Abel Sanchez said what he said. I called Abel. I did a two hour interview with Abel. Two I was the only one to speak out about that. I did a two hour interview with Did you with post Abel. that video? Yep. Well, I went live. Did two you hours. post the video I did with Fight Hype about that? Or did you comment? I did, yeah. I did, I did. My brother, same, my brother, same, same energy, bro. That's all I'm saying. I'm just saying we got to be consistent. I'm going to end it with this. I respect what you do. I appreciate what you do. Listen, Deontay Wilder, if he don't know, he should already know, man. Listen, I have the utmost respect for that man and any man that gets between them ropes because guess what? I understand in a way that you can never understand what he's going through. I can't dispute that. But, but you can't, can't put my fight with Kovalev up against his fight with Fury. Similar in terms of you it. made it about race, not me. Ward Kovalev was about race from the jump. That's for you. You used the word they. For the media, I, in, I got, I got two, 30 interviews of you using the word they. And I'm just and saying again, this. You're assuming that you know what I'm talking about. I was one foot in. That's right. That's right. I'll just say this. My bro, let me I, clarify. I thought, let me yeah. clarify. Listen, let me clarify to you. I've been in my shoes my whole life, obviously. Yeah. I've spoken out about the disparaging, you know, things that are disparaging against African American fighters in the sport and the differences in the double standard. I've spoken out about that. Now I'm not gonna speak about it every time I get a mic in my hand. But to me, Personally, the Kovalev fight was not a black man versus a white man, to me. Now, are there politics out there? Are there powers that be that, that would have loved to see me lose? Absolutely, but I can differentiate between the two because I'm gonna say this and I'm gonna let you speak. You don't hear me calling people racist and doing all that kind of stuff because that's a heavy coat to put on somebody. Listen, I may have a hunch like, man, that seemed a little shaky, right? But I'm not gonna go out of my way to say that because I don't know. That's a heavy coat to put on somebody. You can't judge a man's intentions. You can only judge their actions. So you wouldn't use the word.